Hi, my name is Jessica Tallman, and I'm a chiropractic student. Hi, I'm Jennifer Kenobi, a student attending one of the 17 chiropractic colleges nationwide. Hi, I'm Alex Boss. I'm also a chiropractic student. I knew that chiropractic was the right choice for me. The philosophy, art, and science within our profession gives hope to patients of all ages with a wide variety of health conditions. I chose chiropractic as my career because I want to be part of a healthcare profession whose natural, patient-centered, hands-on approach to healthcare is conservative and effective in treating many of the common ailments of society. To become a doctor of chiropractic, it takes a minimum of seven years of academic and clinical training, and then passing rigorous national and state boards. Let me introduce you to a decorated American veteran, retired Brigadier General Becky Halstead, as she shares some of her chiropractic experience. Well, my dad introduced me to chiropractic in one of my visits home on one of my leaves. Um, he, he could start to see that I was wearing physically. Then my dad had arthritis, and so he uh, often would go down and see the chiropractor in our, our town. And our town doesn't have a chiropractor because our town has doesn't even have traffic lights, but uh, the next town over in Owego, New York. And so he said, you know, I think you ought to go down and see Dr. Perestram. I think he could, he could make you feel better. And so I did. And he was absolutely right. My, my very first visit to the chiropractor was, was awesome. And so has every subsequent visit to the chiropractor. I mean, I always leave feeling better. Um, I tell people it's like I can breathe better. I feel taller. Um, so I, I got a taste of you know, how wonderful um, that care is. Unfortunately, though, um, you know, I only went home once a year. The entire time you're in the military, it's physically demanding. We do physical training every single day. We have a lot of uh, difficult physical schools. I was in uh, air assault school, repelling out of helicopters in uh, my, my mid-30s, um, you know, doing uh, foot marches, 12-mile foot marches within a, you know, three-hour time frame with all your full gear. So the entire spectrum of your military service is very, very physical. So although we do a lot of physical training, and I think we're fairly physically fit, um, we do wear out. Napoleon may have said an army moves on its stomach, but these days it may be its back. It's been reported that more than 16 percent of the army is currently unavailable for deployment. The top ailments sidelining soldiers, incredibly back pain, and other musculoskeletal issues. Retired Brigadier General Rebecca Halstead, whose service in Iraq made her the first U.S. woman to command in combat at the strategic level, thinks it's time we address that. These are the young men and women out there, every day protecting our freedom. It's time to make the benefit of chiropractic care available throughout the military. They deserve it. Halstead herself suffered from chronic fibromyalgia for years until she received chiropractic treatment. Now she's teamed up with the not-for-profit Foundation for Chiropractic Progress to make sure all military members get the care they deserve. From personal experience, I know that chiropractic care will exponentially improve military health and readiness. At the end of the day, missions get accomplished on the backs of our soldiers. So at 49, I'm sitting there taking a dozen prescribed drugs, you know, every three hours, every four hours, every six hours. And I just went, this is crazy. Um, I, I plan on living to 100, and in my family we do live to 100, so I've got to figure out another way. And I, so I sought chiropractic um, as a routine care. And two years later, now, over t just about two years later, I, I retired in June. It's now October, so two years plus. I take no prescribed drugs, zero. I go to the, the chiropractor about every two to three weeks, depending on my travel schedule. And, you know, I can take a shower without the water hurting my skin. You know, I'm not, my skin's not on fire. I, I, I mean, I have fibromyalgia, but it's not chronic. And I know so much more now how to deal with that. And chiropractic's a huge part of the equation. There is good news for the many of the 12 million Americans who have the chronic ailment known as fibromyalgia. It's a muscle and connective tissue disorder that can cause intense pain. And though there's still no cure, there is help available, such as chiropractic care. Consider retired Brigadier General Becky Halstead the first woman in U.S. history to command in combat at the strategic level in Iraq who suffered with this disease. The regular spinal adjustments and nutritional advice from my chiropractor significantly reduced my pains and restored both my hope and quality of life. Chiropractic care is an essential part of not only preventing more serious health concerns, but also assisting the recovery from strains and other injuries. 
My hope is that others can learn from my experiences. One who would agree is Lillian Aragonez, an artist and published author whose fibromyalgia forced her to retire from teaching. Chiropractic adjustments of her spine, however, made an enormous difference. It's given me my life back. Learn more at yes, the numeral 2 chiropractic.com. Doctors of Chiropractic are wellness experts and offer lifestyle advice on posture, exercise, and nutrition. A healthier you can be a lot easier to achieve than you think. Often the most effective way to improve your health is to make consistent, small, positive changes. According to experts at the Foundation for Chiropractic Progress, it's best to try to balance your diet, emphasizing fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and beans, reducing or eliminating your intake of harmful foods, like sugar, soda, fats, and processed foods. Drink plenty of water, especially in the hot summer months, and remember, a nutritious breakfast is the most important meal of the day. You don't have to run a marathon to shape up. Just do some form of exercise regularly. Aim for 20 to 30 minutes, three to four times a week. Learn how to stretch properly, walk with supportive shoes, and lift some light weights. Attitude matters too. Staying optimistic can lead to greater success in a goal of a healthier you. Chiropractors are experts on wellness and can offer lifestyle advice. For more tips, visit yes, the numeral two, chiropractic.com. Like mom used to say, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. New research shows that care by a doctor of chiropractic is as beneficial as surgery when treating the majority of patients with sciatica. Some people have a lot of nerve, and if it's their sciatic nerve, they may also have a lot of pain. That's because when the sciatic nerve becomes inflamed, it really hurts. Other symptoms include tingling or numbness in the lower region of the body and down one or both legs. There are a number of possible causes, including an injury such as a fall, lifting strains, or various nerve and joint complications. Fortunately, there are also a number of ways to address the problem. While the most severe cases may require surgery, one study found a majority of patients who received chiropractic spinal manipulation benefited equally as compared to those who underwent surgery. Doctors of chiropractic are trained in physical examination and diagnosis and can determine whether your case of sciatica is likely to respond to chiropractic. Those experience symptoms of sciatica should consider consulting a doctor of chiropractic for helpful treatment options as well as healthy living advice. You can learn more from the Foundation for Chiropractic Progress at yes, the numeral two, chiropractic.com. Is your child's backpack too heavy? It might be. Doctors of chiropractic can offer preventative tips to avoid back injury. Could that textbook your child just tossed into his already bulging school backpack be one book too many? Or how about that handbag of yours? Is it dangerously heavy? If you answered yes to either question, you could be setting yourself up for an injury. Dr. David D. Oliveira of the not-for-profit Foundation for Chiropractic so, Progress explains. Heavy bags can strain your back, arms, neck and shoulders. That's why handbags should weigh only a pound or two. And backpacks, no more than 10 to 15 percent a child's own weight. Aside from carrying only what you absolutely need, other preventive steps include using handbags with two shoulder straps, choosing backpacks with padded straps, and generally speaking, remembering to bend your legs when lifting anything. It's all about reducing your risk of pain, numbness, and possibly even arthritis flares. If you still develop pain, a chiropractor can help identify and treat it. You can learn more at yes, the numeral two, chiropractic.com. Too much stress can result in health problems, including obesity, depression, and heart disease. Doctors of chiropractic can offer tips to help with stress management. Managing sources of stress in your life, especially work-related ones, can be good for your health. That's because prolonged periods of stress may lead to problems such as obesity, depression, and heart disease. As wellness experts, doctors of chiropractic encourage you to be more aware of your body's stress signals and to find ways for daily relaxation activities. Be mindful of your breathing. Take slow and steady breaths. Be aware of your posture. Remember what mom said, sit up straight. Everyone knows hunching over a computer is bad for your back. Avoid sitting for long. Stretch often and walk around the office when you can. Get organized. Being organized can minimize overscheduling and conflicts. Don't skimp on sleep. 
being well rested increases energy and concentration levels. Get into the healthy habit of exercising regularly. It's a great way to feel better and to allow yourself to put problems in perspective. If work-related stress results in health problems, you can see your chiropractor. For help and more tips on being well, visit yes, the numeral 2 chiropracticcom Cheerleading has been cited as the most dangerous sport for females. Professional cheerleaders rely on the care of doctors of chiropractic to prevent injury and to optimize performance. We all know how bruising football can be. But just ask a cheerleader for the Washington Redskins about the injury she sustained doing the squad's complex dance moves and drop splits. And you'll understand why cheerleading, even at your local school level, is rated the most dangerous sport for women by the National Center for Catastrophic Sport Injury Research. Cheerleading may look like fun, but it actually involves an incredible amount of stress on your body. I've experienced many injuries throughout my career. Everything from pulled hamstrings to sprains and even lower back pain. Setbacks that chiropractic care has always helped me fully recover from. No matter your athletic activity, proper stretching and warm-ups are key. Dr. Jay Greenstein of the Not-for-Profit Foundation for Chiropractic Progress explains. Taking proper preventative measures, such as chiropractic care, and appropriate sport-specific exercises can help reduce the risks of injury. If you do develop pain, a chiropractor can help you identify and treat it. For more information, visit yes, the numeral 2 chiropracticcom Recognized as one of the greatest professional football players to ever play the game, listen to what Jerry Rice has to say about his chiropractic experience. A new crop of players has been voted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame. A why you might assume his 13 trips to the Pro Bowl 38 career records and three Super Bowl rings are what made San Francisco 49ers star receiver Jerry Rice a shoe in for the hall. He says you can also credit his chiropractor. My first experience with chiropractic care was right before the 49ers were to play the Bengals in Super Bowl 23. A couple of our players were injured and a chiropractor turned things around. Rice, who says a chiropractor helped him weather countless bone crushing hits, also spent time with the Raiders, Seahawks, and Broncos. Today, he's a spokesperson for the Foundation for Chiropractic Progress, a not-for-profit organization dedicated to increasing public awareness of chiropractic care. He even credits such care for helping him succeed in what some have humorously called his second career, performing on Dancing with the Stars. For more information, visit yes, the numeral to chiropractic.org. Chiropractic care has an impressive record in patient satisfaction and clinical results. Be sure to ask your doctor any questions you may have and follow their instructions. Once you improve, be sure to tell others. Your doctor's goal is to add you to this growing list of satisfied patients. I, I just believe that in, in, with chiropractic care, when I physically feel better, I emotionally feel better. When I emotionally feel better, I'm, I'm a much greater service to my nation and my job and I'm a much better asset in my family at home. 